So today we're looking at an issue with this 65 inch Samsung television. The model number is UE65JS9500. Now the problem we got with this television is a no display issue. Now it seems to be related to something to do with the One Connect box. Uh, the box is currently plugged in, but uh, doesn't seem to be showing any picture. If we disconnect the box, we can see on the screen that it will eventually come up with the uh, picture that shows that we need to connect the box. So this is showing that the screen is working and things like the backlights and stuff are functioning correctly. But as soon as we plug the One Connect box in, we have a no display issue. So yeah, we're gonna start trying to have a look, see if we can diagnose the problem. What I'm gonna do first is, is get the back off the television and see if there's any issues with the power suppliers. There's been quite a few reported issues with this causing the no display issue. And if we can't find a problem with that, then we'll start looking a bit deeper into the uh, One Connect box itself. So yeah, let's get started by getting the cover off and having a look at the back of the telly. So with the back cover removed, which is just a case of removing all the screws that you can see on the back cover, uh, we can start to have a look inside. So here we have the power supply, and then we have the controller board, which the One Connect box connects to, and then we have the drivers for the LEDs on the panel. Now, usual precautions, if you're gonna attempt this yourself, you have to be extremely careful, particularly with the power supply, as this can carry lethal voltages, particularly in this bank of capacitors along here, which is uh, on the hot side of the power supply. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, have a look at this, particularly around this area. Uh, if I zoom in closer, you can already see, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but this capacitor here is looking quite swollen. And again, there have been reports that uh, these do have issues with the capacitors where they kind of bulge and then they go wrong. So it's possible that this is causing a power issue down to this module here, which the One Connect controller is using. So yeah, first off, I'm going to... Uh, investigate the situation with the power supply and I'm probably going to look to try and recap this area with some new capacitors to see uh, if that resolves the issue and if not then we're going to have to dig a bit deeper into this area but as I said I think with the backlights that's all functioning which is again being driven by this side of the power board um, but yeah let's just focus on the, the power that's going into this module and see uh, if we have any luck fixing the telly that way. So here we have the power board out now on the bench and uh, here's a close up on the microscope of the capacitor that I've seen. So it's this one here, CS855, so this is a 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor and as you can see compared to the one next to it, it's kind of doming at the top. So I'm going to basically recap this whole area, so I'm going to do these two and if we look further up here then there's a bunch here that look okay but uh, I'm going to take them out anyway and have a look and then just check some of the other components. Uh, a visual inspection of the board doesn't really reveal anything, so uh, we're gonna recap this and uh, see if that makes any difference. Okay, so the board is now recapped, so I've replaced these two down here and the three above, and they're all 470 microfarad, 25 volt capacitors. Now, if we bring in the capacitor meter and we have a look at this uh, capacitor that's bulging, uh, if I put that in and then we have a look at the reading, we can see it's reading 300 and, uh, about 337, 38 microfarads. So yeah, it should be around 470 to sort of 490. So yeah, it's clearly, clearly quite low. So yeah, what we're going to do is um, stick the board in now and see if uh, it's made any difference. So with the power board back in and I've checked all the voltages, which you can see on screen, uh, it didn't seem to make any difference, unfortunately. So after a bit of further investigation, it turns out it was this thing, the uh, main control module for the television. So yeah, we bought a replacement, which you can see here, and that has now fixed the television. So it wasn't an issue in the end with the One Connect box or the cable, which uh, can also cause problems on these tellies. So here's the television working again. As you can see, we got the menus back, whereas before it was not working. So as far as I can tell, it's all good. Uh, the, the sound was working before, it was just the picture was gone. So yeah, I hope you found this useful and uh, thanks for watching.